What up, YouTube? This is BTC TV with your boy Enrod, DJ Red, and this is our weekly CD review. Well, it's not really weekly since you know it's been like a month, but I've been out of town. He's been out of town, so we're finally getting a chance to do this. It's just constant bad timing. Okay, and for volume three, we're gonna do the new Bad Meets Evil CD. Hell, the sequel. It's very nice, and we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, first track is whoa, Welcome whoa, whoa, whoa. to Hell. Well, first of all, if you didn't know what Bad Meets Evil is, it's yes. Royce to 5'9 and Eminem. Yeah, some people think it's Royce to 5'9 and Eminem, and that's the name of the group. No, it's they, they combined back in, the, back in the Slim Shady LP days. They did a song called Bad Meets Evil. That's how they got it. They finally got a CD. Well, it's actually an EP, but it's still pretty awesome. So that's what we're doing. Just, just a little nod for you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, track number one is Welcome to Hell. It's pretty good. It's the intro track. And um, both the, usually an intro track, it's like an intro, you know, but this one's kind of just like both of them spit one verse, and it, they're both pretty quick. Oh, yeah. That, Eminem and Rick Five Nine learn how to get real quick, real, real fast. And they have good chemistry together. Like, they're both a little psycho, but they have that, they, they create a balance for each other, so that way they're not like too psycho. You know? Well, pretty good. I don't know about Eminem. Eminem, Eminem goes a little off, but. Royce to 5 knows how to keep it a little contained. It's, it's a good, they, they make a good mix. Track two is Fast Lane. Everyone's probably heard of this one because this was their first single. Yeah, this one, Royce to 5 9 gets the first first. Every every track they, uh, they'll switch and, you know, M gets the first verse on so Royce. It's, it's pretty good. It sounds like Royce is on the chorus. I can't tell. No, it's some other guy. They didn't, they didn't say who it was, but it's some guy with little good looks. He's, he's got a little drip though. It's, it's pretty good though. It's definitely uh, one of the one of the highlights of the CD. Um, it's the only one with a music video. Yeah, but I think Lighters is gonna have a music video too. But we'll get to that later. The next one is the reunion, and it's uh, track three. It's basically them getting back together. You know the the reunion. Go and this is more the off the edge song. This is where they both kind of go crazy. They both let the little psychoticness out. Yeah, and uh, Eminem, Eminem starts on this one, and he just, he talks about him riding in a car and doing bad stuff with girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing unusual there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's great to see the reunion, though, because these two go at it. In a, in a way where they, they're competing with each other, but that competitiveness makes the songs they make that much better. Yeah. Definite duo right there. Oh, track, yeah. track number four is um, Above the Law, which... Is, this is the one about bootlegging, isn't it? Above the Law? No. This, no this one is not about bootlegging. Well, that's Take From Me. Yes, Take From Me is about bootlegging. We'll get to that one. Yeah. Above the Law is... It's about them being above the law, I think about how they can do whatever they want, I think. It's pretty good. They never name who this is on the chorus, for some reason. Yes, on a couple of tracks they won't name who's on the chorus. But I like it, because every verse that they spit, it's um, it's not like the same verse. It's always different, but they, they don't have the same sound, but they're always just as good. So you can never really just say what it's about. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, but yeah, so tracks one through four are all all pretty good, except Fast Lane stands out there. Um, number five is one of my personal favorites. It's um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's featuring Mike Epps. Yeah, they they take a clip from one of Mike Epps' stand ups, and uh, Mike Epps is talking about how kids don't have any direction and how they're they're on everything. So that's what Evan Royce to Five Nine talk about how they're on every kind of drug. He um, him and Royce just this one's all about being stupid and being on drugs and. They, they, yeah, they poke fun at it. A lot of drugs. A lot of different drugs. And the chorus is Mike Epps. Yes. With that clip. And it's it's funny. I was laughing. It was, this was the first song that stuck out to me. Oh, yeah. Because the beat's dope, too. Yes. Um, I think it's produced by Mr. Porter. Yeah. So oh. That's, that's given. And on each of their verses, they start out with the same line. Sick when I kick it. And then they'll put their own thing on it. And then throughout the verse, they do their own thing. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. Track number six is called A Kiss. It's yes. produced by uh, Mr. Bangladesh. And if you don't know who Mr. Bangladesh is, he uh, he did a milli. He's, he's, he's Lil Wayne's friend. He makes he makes pretty good, pretty pretty dope beats. A Kiss is about a girl 
A kiss is about a couple girls. A kiss is about girls coming up to them and asking them why they don't do certain things or why why they do the things they do towards girls. And they just kind of say, you know, why can they do this? Because I want to. Straight up. Basically. Yeah. And it's not nice. Though. <laughs> but it's a it's a good song. The chorus is another one of those. I don't know who the who's on the chorus type songs. That seems not very very important to them. Who they put on the chorus. They don't mind, because as long as it sounds good, you know, who cares? Uh, track number seven is my personal favorite. It's with Bruno Mars, and this is going to be the second single. Oh, Lighters, yes. Lighters. Uh, featuring Bruno Mars, produced by the, sm the Sneezing Tins, Pharrell's group. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. Always, they always make dope beats. And this is, you probably heard this one on the radio recently. Yeah, they, they recently put this on the radio one. I'm very surprised because even though this is supposed to be a nice, you know, kind of low, low song, they still kind of go off on it. They, they still bring that energy, that constant energy that Royce has and M has that just bounce each other's out. And then you got Bruno Mars' like just smooth voice. It's Honestly, when I first heard this check, I thought I thought they put a clip of Bruno Mars in there and we're going to start making fun of me. I was a little scared of Bruno Mars. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. It's my favorite song. It's more personal, it seems like. This is like the personal song of the album. Like how Eminem always has one where he gets a little more personal than the rest of them. Yeah. And like like how he also does a, a funny song too on every single CD. There's always this one funny song. There's always yeah. There's always at least one funny song and at least one serious song. And I think uh, the funny one would be I'm on everything. Yes, I'm on everything. Okay. But, yeah. You know, majority of the time Eminem will put more than one or two serious or funny songs. This is this is this is a good song though. If you if you appreciate if you appreciate rap and good singing, Lighters is. Lighters, Lighters, is, Lighters is the one for you. Lighters is the one for you. <laughs> uh, track 8 is called Take From Me. And this is the one we were talking about earlier about bootlegging and how bootlegging really annoys them and how how you download those CDs for free because Royce to 5 Nights says it stresses him out and it's not helping him out that you're giving him publicity by downloading it. You're just downloading it for free and kind of screwing him over. And they don't get paid when you guys download stuff for free. And I'm not one to talk. I've done it multiple times. But true. Uh, coming, being like a, a new artist type, yeah, you, you begin to realize that wow, people stealing my music is kind of is kind of messed up. Yeah, that's really messed up. And us being up and coming rappers, that would really piss us off if we stole, if somebody stole our music and we didn't get paid for it. So now I'm, I'm beginning to understand. Now, now I know why uh, Royce would go so in the detail about why he does not like bootleggers. That's why the song's called Take From Me. Don't take from me. It's my, my personal thing. He works hard for that music. Exactly. But overall, good song. So track one through eight. Very good so far. There's still one more if you get the regular version. And this is one. This is another one of my personal favorites. Track nine. Oh. One featuring Slaughterhouse. Uh, loud Noises. Loud Noises. Dope. Because um, Slaughterhouse is new. If you don't know who Slaughterhouse is, they're a new group. They're Royce Rel to relatively. The Roy Royce to 5 9 heads it like Eminem does D12. This is Royce to 5 9 thing. Yeah, and Slaughterhouse is dope. Joe Budden, Joel Ortiz, Crooked Eye, they're all they all have they all have that energy like and chemistry that Eminem and Royce do, so them plus Eminem, and cause they just got signed to Shady Records too. Yeah, just recently. So having all of them on one track is dope. Yeah. That's that's awesome. And uh and you know, like we said, if you're not familiar with Slaughterhouse, there a lot of them spit very quickly, very fast. Very fast. I like it though. It's dope. And very they also put a little clip in there from uh, Anchorman in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. If you recognize that? <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, if you recognize it, you'll hear what's his name? His Steve name. Steve Carell. Steve Carell who plays. Well, his name was in the movie. But Steve Carell plays a little kind of guy off in Anchorman, and, and he he'll just he just yells randomly loud noises. And that's a, a little. That, I guess that's where they got the title from. They just built out that. But it's yeah. it's really good. So if we were to stop there, tracks one through nine. This is an EP. Keep in mind, it's not a full CD. Yeah. So there's only nine tracks if you get the normal one. And uh, so if you were just to get the normal one, what would you say? Me? Hmm. Let's say eight point five. 9.5, somewhere around 9. there. 9.5, that, that's up there. Oh, that's, yeah. That's like some... And, and this is just an EP, it's not this, a full yeah. CD. EP, if it would have been a full CD, you'd pro it'd probably be more lenient. You'd probably have less, because there'd probably be more songs in there that wouldn't be on the same level as the other ones. Yeah, but... But, but this EP, every song is here, 
and it never goes down. It's always the same great quality. From, from the first check, it just goes straight up. Mm -hmm. It gets better throughout the CD too. And, um, but if you get the deluxe edition, it comes with two extra tracks. One's called Living Proof, produced by Mr. Porter, and it's pretty, it's pretty, um, it's pretty dope. It's just another Bad Meets Evil track, kind of like a, a reunion or, you know, it's Welcome about, to Hell. It's just about, you know, them being together and how they're going to destroy everybody. <laughs> He's living proof of hip hop. Oh, yeah. I've met a lot of people that, um, if like a Joey DeJesus, if you're watching this, he says that uh, Royce to Five Nine may be one of the best dead or alive, and I completely agree with him. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Royce to Five Nine can go pretty hard. He Royce to Five Nine has his own CD. Was it a Street Hop? Street Hop. It's a little older. It's like a year or two. Yeah. It's dope. It is dope. And um, he's been around forever with Eminem. And he he puts it down. He, I think he's probably the closest competition on shitty records that I know of for Eminem. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, but that's that's Living Proof, track 10. Track 11 is the last track of the deluxe album, and it's called Echo. Featuring... No, I don't know. It doesn't say no, who this... Yes, it says her name's something Rodriguez. I'm not sure. I don't have, I don't have my iPad on me. Liz Rodriguez. Yes, Liz, Liz Rodriguez. Liz Rodriguez. And um, DJ Khalil... Khalil, DJ Khalil produced it. It's pretty dope. It's kind of like a rock center song a little bit. Yeah, it's if you if you can't hear it right now, go go look at it. You can hear uh, a lot, very very obvious rock uh, yeah. guitar riff in the background. It's dope. Um, and this this has probably one of the more higher energy songs on the list. It's pretty pretty intense. Like you could you could start a mosh to the song maybe. Oh yeah. Maybe. For First time I heard this song, I, th I think my heart rate went up. <laughs> I started getting crazy. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's that's the CD as of right now. So that's the deluxe version. So with the deluxe version, what would you say for the deluxe all, version? all 11 tracks? I'd go solid 9.5. Solid 9.5 9. for an EP. Yes, yeah, for an EP. Keep that's that dope. Like, I can't wait for them to put out a whole CD and have probably, they probably have more talent, more featured artists. And they still have dope producers on here, but, you know, they probably have more uh, big name producers. Yeah, with Dre helping them out too? I know, I don't think Dre touched this one at all. Really? I don't think he had anything to do with it. I, well, I don't, at least I don't think so. Maybe it's because Dre's working on Detox. Detox, 2000, never. <laughs> Yeah, as far as I know, I don't think he touched it. Well, oh well. But, um, Dre, we're waiting on Detox. Because that'll be the first thing we do, is review that. Oh, yeah. But anyways, we're off topic. Okay. So, Hell the Sequel. In in summary, 9.5. I say solid 9. Very, very great EP. Bad Meets Evil is dope. And it's not just Eminem, it's Royce the 592. Gotta give Royce credit for bringing that balance to Eminem and putting out the dopest EP I've heard in the 2000s. Dopest EP I've ever heard, ever. He probably hasn't heard as much music as I have though. But still, hey, dope, dope <laughs> EP. Go get it. Don't download. Don't download it. Go no, buy it. Don't download it. Or iTunes or whatever. But um, yeah, that's that's the review for this week. Thank you for watching. I'm DJ Red. And Rod all day. All day. BTC TV. I can never say my own group right. Peace out.